Tips from the Chef on eLearning Chips YouTube channel. Hi everybody. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to create the unique player skin in Articulate Storyline. We won't use the default settings and we'll create the unique eCourse player skin. So let's get started. Preview a blank slide to see the default player skin. First, let's exclude all default components. To complete this action, go to Publish menu, click Player, and remove all ticks from Properties. Let's see what we've got. To do this, preview the blank slide again. To disable slide navigation controls, go to Slide Properties and remove the required ticks. Make sure that our player skin was modified. Preview the blank slide once again. We can also change the player skin colors. Let's return to the Publish menu and click Player. Now go to Colors and Effects and modify the color scheme, background color, and player font. We can also change the player skin colors. To see more options, click Show Advanced Color Editing. In the base drop-down list, change all colors to white. That will remove the gray frame around the course window. Now let's make sure that we've removed all the default settings and preview the blank slide once again. As we can see, no default settings and colors are available now. Before adding new components to your player skin, let's specify its size. It's very important because it affects the correct display of all elements on the slides. To change the size of your player skin, go to Design, click Story Size, and specify the required size. Let's use 978. by 656 pixels as an example. Now we can add new components. We created them in a graphics editor beforehand and saved in a separate folder in PNG format. First, let's add the header and footer. Go to Insert, click Picture, and specify the path to the images which are stored on your hard drive. Now you can align them. Now it's time to add next and back buttons. To do this, create two slides using duplicate from the shortcut menu. Let's mark them slide one and slide two and make the transition between them. As soon as the slides are created, let's add next to the first and back to the second one. Now we must set up transitions between slides using our unique buttons. To do this, select Next and choose Jump to Slide in Action field. Similarly, select the Back button and assign the trigger, which returns us to the previous slide. Let's see how our player works and whether transitions are active. Start viewing the scene. Well done!
we've made our first unique player skin in Articulate Storyline. In the next tutorials, we'll tell you how to create navigation menu in Articulate Storyline. E-learning chips, online stock for designers and course developers.